to Penny Gadgets. Today I'm bringing you another call for a review, this time on the Samsung HMX U10, which I've got here. I did a quick product overview the other day, and today I'm just going to take you around the, the camera and, and let you know exactly what's what. So first of all, we'll go around the design features. Samsung really got something right with the, the 7 degree chin on the camera, and it feels very nice to hold, and you're not flexing your wrist too much. So it's really comfortable to, to when you're doing continuous shooting. It also comes in a nice selection of colours. I've got the red one here, but it also comes in purple, silver, green, a like a mint green, a black, and obviously this one, the red. So I'll take you around the, the camera itself, the button. You can see here, this is the camera. It is 56 millimetres across the top, and it's 103 millimetres long, and it's 15.5 millimetres thick which makes this one of the world's smallest pocket camcorders in the world that shoots in full 1080p. So, we've got your lens here. On this side you've got your power button, which is just right there. And then we've got a dust flap here. And this holds your micro SD card and your, your component. DCN, sorry. On the right side we've got, obviously this is to, to put on a tripod, it comes with a little connector that you plug in so you can have it standing up or you can just put it straight in and have it that way. Because this also acts as a 10 megapixel digital camera as well. And then under this dust flap we've got AV composite and a mini USB to USB charging cable. On the back of the, of the camera, you've got three hard buttons, which are your record, play and camera buttons. And then a touch D-pad, also a one, uh, one touch upload to YouTube, a back button and a menu button. And then your speakers also on the back, right there. So this camera, like I said, does shoot in full 1080p definition. Uh, sitting at 1920 by 1080 pixels on the resolution which is up to 30% better image quality and you get finer images than the standard 1440 by 1080 I did say it had a 10 megapixel camera on it but it doesn't have any flash nor does shooting mode uh, when, you, when you're filming um, which can be real problems in low light situations I've got to say in, in sunlight or bright light uh, it, it produces really good quality imaging and shooting mode but in low lights it's, it's terrible um, that's the only major flaw with the device if it had a flash or, or some sort of LED lamp that was bright enough uh, it, could, it could be a really good camera but for £79 you can't really complain um, the back of the device has a 2 inch, two inch screen which doesn't look very good when you're looking through the screen even in, in bright lights, but when you take it through and put it into your computer um, uh, the, the full quality is there, you, you can see that this obviously just, it's got 256k colours so it doesn't produce really sharp enough images when you're viewing it through that but there's no viewfinder so you've got no choice when you're recording audio on the camera it formats in AAC format which is obviously uh, you can convert that to anything you want but it, it can open in any sort of imaging or sound editing software. Um, with a standard 4 gig SD card you're going to get 44 minutes of continuous HD shooting at the full resolution. Compared to an SDHC card at 4 gig you're going to get about 108 minutes. So something to think about when you're buying a camera you might want to buy a big enough SD card that can hold up to 32 gigabytes so if you want to spend £100 on a 32 gigabyte SD card that's up to you. So when you're shooting in full 1080p resolution with the Samsung U10, it comes out at 30 frames per second. You can also shoot in 720p at 60 frames per second or 720 at 30 frames per second. You can also go into 480 by 60 which is your standard VGA. Um, it does shoot in slow motion also and has a great time lapse, time lapse feature. In the next video what I'll do is I'll upload 1080p test footage, 720p test footage and I'll also do a quick a quick time lapse feature just so you get the idea of what the camera can actually do. I'll do this in, um, in good lighting situations and low lighting situations. 
So onto the actual software. You get Samsung's new Intelli Studio with the Samsung U10, which it's good for transferring your files, but doesn't really make a very good editing device, editing software. If you've got something, if you've got access to Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere, uh, I recommend using them because the Intelli Studio editing software isn't really very good. It, it's really slow and it takes forever to convert. That's about it really for the review. Like I said, I'll do some test footage, I'll upload that in the next videos and then I'll, I'll annotate. You should get an annotation down here somewhere and then you'll be able to view that when it's up. So this has been Paul for Penny Gadgets and this has been another colourful review.